Hi everybody. In today's lesson, we're gonna choose a beam from this structure, then design it according to the provided and required method. Select a beam from this structure, then go to design. And from here, you have the required reinforcement of uh, of beams and columns. We specify code parameters from here. It's a RCB. We edit the options. Uh, span length at support faces. Okay, that's okay. Everything is okay. Then okay, save. Apply that. Then close it. Go again to design menu. And from here, calculation parameters. From here, you create new new parameters from general. Uh, you choose the type of material, which is uh, concrete. Uh, which type of concrete? You specify it from here or the same as in structure mo model. So choose uh, concrete 25 that you have created previously and um, seismic, uh, uh, seismic risk uh, is low. Um, at uh, regions where uh, earthquakes are present, we have to make this uh, medium. For the main reinforcement, choose the grid as R, 250 megapascal. And for the type of reinforcing bars, we have two types, the same type of bars for both directions. Or if you want to specify a particular type of bar for the top, and different type for the bottom you choose you uncheck this box and choose it from here and for the cover we want the clear cover to be for example four centimeters and for uh, the transversal uh, reinforcement you choose the grid also and from here type of bars you choose the diameter which is 10 and number of reinforcing sections it's better to make it as 3 that means the software has to calculate at the beginning and at the mid span and at the end and this is the inclination, which is the angle at which the stirrups will be placed. For spacings, the software will specify them. Then save them. Um, make it as beam one. Beam one. Then save. Then choose it and select the beam that you want. and apply and from design go to required calculations members not all members we want just this member it's a three four four for ULS you can choose your combination from here and SLS also from here then calculate then close it and close the, in this uh, window and this window also and from here go to RC design RC members required And as you see here, this is the reinforcing bars. We have uh, 2516 uh, and 2516 and 4516 for the bottom reinforcing at three different locations at the beginning and at the mid span and at the end. And this is for the top reinforcing.
Now go back to structure model geometry and from here select provided reinforcing or provided reinforcement of RC elements. From here choose manual combinations. Then OK. For beam geometry you don't have to change anything because we have all we have uh, previously specified the spacings and also the dimensions of the of that beam. So what should we change? We would change these things from here. Cover should be calculated to transversal transversal reinforcement. Cover should be calculated to transversal reinforcement. And if you want to make it fixed, you can do that from here. And uh, after calculating deflections, we should correct them by uh, changing to the reinforcement. From concrete, choose the material. It's also chosen. And for longitudinal reinforcing bars, you choose grid the grade and from here you specify the type of bar that you want I'll choose this one and this one and this one and for transversal reinforcement that means these stirrups choose uh, choose the grade first and then choose the diameter and the additional reinforcement you choose the type of bar that you want and for from here save as any name then OK and from here we want it as single span it's already single span uh, maximum length 12 meters that OK minimum diameter for straight bars make it 12 and from here, mere reinforcement, I'll make it uh, 14 minimum diameter. And uh, if you want the bent uh, bars, you choose it from here. For foundation, we choose this one. And for beams, we choose this one. If you want to change the anchorage length, change it from here. But this one is OK. Uh, for bottom uh, reinforcement, if you want to make uh, layers, if the reinforcing is not enough, that, we, uh, that means if one layer is not enough, you choose number of layers, which is uh, in this case two, that's okay, or make it auto. From here to transversal reinforcement. It should fit to envelope. That's okay. It uh, would it would give you uh, an accurate result. And from here, you specify the distance between the face of the support and the first stirrup. Make it five centimeters. That's okay. And sections, type of sections that you want, you can specify this one, this one, this one, any one of them. That's okay. And from here, you choose the construction reinforcement. That means re uh, reinforcing bars that uh, prohibit uh, shrinkage and uh, heat resistance and something like that. You choose diameter or make it auto. And um, joint method, make it this one. This one is OK. that's enough and from here you save it
Okay. After that, go to calculation from here and start calculating. After calculating, you can go to beam diagrams and from here you see all the diagrams this one the bending moment according to ultimate limit state and this one is the shear forces this is the M ultimate and this is the the ultimate from deflections if you want to choose the to see the deflections you select and apply total deflections are represented by the blue line These are the that was the diagrams for this beam and from results you can get the tabular form of this data for beam reinforcement we select this one and as it's shown here in this table we have all the reinforcement details okay and from here you can get the drawings this is all the details regarding beam number 344 the shape of the reinforcement bars mainly depends on the data that you have entered that was the last point in this lesson thanks for watching